Brittany here. I'm so glad you joined me for another read aloud today. Well, this is a Mark Brown book and you know we love Mark Brown books. And he's got a character, Arthur. Do you know Arthur? I love Arthur. He's such a great character. This is called Arthur's Underwear. Arthur's Underwear. Well, that's a silly title. Look at him in the picture. He's wearing his underwear. Huh. What do you think this story is going to be about? <gasps> it sounds like it'll be silly. What do you think? I love silly books, don't you? Well, we got to read it to find out. Join me on the carpet. Mark Brown. This is called Arthur's Underwear. An Arthur Adventure. Binky Barnes was at the board doing a difficult problem. That's correct, said Mr. Ratburn. Very good. Binky cheered, yes, and dropped his chalk. As he bent down, the class heard a loud, Everyone laughed, except Mr. Ratburn. Go to the office and ask Mrs. Tingley to sew them up, he said. That afternoon at a softball practice, when Binky came up to bat, Arthur thought about Binky in his underwear and laughed. During dinner, Mom asked, anything interesting happen at school today? Arthur started to laugh. What's so funny, asked D.W., but Arthur couldn't stop laughing to answer. The next morning, Arthur woke up late. He hurried through breakfast and ran most of the way to school. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Ratburn. I guess my alarm... Everyone burst out laughing. Mr. Reed, being late is one thing, said Mr. Ratburn, but not wearing any trousers, that is quite another. Arthur looked down and screamed. Arthur's scream woke him up. Wow, he thought, what a horrible dream. What do you think the word trousers means? That's right, in his pants. Thank goodness it was just a dream. In school, the class watched a science film. The amoeba is a single-celled life form. Arthur's eyelids began to droop. Suddenly, an amoeba that looked a lot like Arthur appeared on the screen. Its pants fell down, showing its underwear. Help, cried Arthur amoeba. I need my pants. All the other amoebas started to laugh. Arthur amoeba was too embarrassed to move. Then he felt someone shaking him. Wake up, Arthur, said Buster. The movie's over. At lunch, Arthur didn't feel like eating. What should I do, Buster? Every time I go to sleep, I'm in my underwear. Try staying awake, Buster suggested. You can't dream if you don't sleep. That night, Arthur tried some tricks to stay awake. Flashlight. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Singing. But as hard as he tried, Arthur just couldn't. I'll get you, Verminator, after I take a little nap. In Arthur's dream, the Verminator was torturing the class by scratching his claws on the blackboard. Hearing cries for help, Bionic Arthur rushed to the rescue. But as he entered the classroom to take on the Verminator, everyone started laughing. Why are they laughing? That's right. My pants! Arthur gasped as he woke up with a start. Rise and shine, Mr. Fancy Pants, said D.W. They're right here. Mom says you better shake a leg or you'll be late for school. Arthur asked Buster for some emergency advice on the way to school. It even happens when I'm a superhero, he exclaimed. I can't stay awake forever. I'm doomed. Maybe you should sleep in your pants, said Buster. That way you won't have to worry about putting them on. Hmm. There's an idea. That night, D.W. came into Arthur's room. Why are you wearing your pants to bed, she asked. Because uh, that way I could be ready for school faster, he said quickly. 
I'm going to ask Mom if I could sleep in my clothes, too, D.W. said. Maybe my coat and boots. Mom! Arthur sighed and changed into his pajama pants. The next day, Arthur was more worried than ever. What if people find out about my underwear problem? He asked Buster. They'll call me names, and then I'll have to change schools. Don't worry, said Buster. Your secret is safe with me. At lunch the following day, Arthur sat with Francine and Muffy. They looked at him and started to giggle. What's so funny? Arthur asked. Do you have your pants on? Asked Francine. Better make sure. Arthur checked. He was wearing his pants. He moved to another table. I heard about your nightmares, said the brain. So I got out a couple of books on dreams. Apparently you have a pathological fear of embarrassment. Arthur got up to find Buster. Buster, cried Arthur. You told everyone about my underwear dreams? Not everyone, replied Buster. Only a few kids. Buster, how could you? Well, I couldn't help you. I needed some advice. This is so embarrassing, said Arthur. When Arthur turned to run out of the cafeteria, his pants pocket got caught. RIP! Everyone in the cafeteria began to laugh. Arthur couldn't move, but Binky grabbed two trays to cover him. Quick, he whispered, into the kitchen. Mrs. McGrady wrapped her apron around Arthur and got out a needle and thread. I'm sorry, Buster said. I shouldn't have told anyone. It's okay, said Arthur sadly. You were just trying to help. The hard part will be telling my parents that I have to change schools. Mrs. McGrady handed Arthur his pants. Thanks, said Arthur. Is there a back door? Afraid not, said Mrs. McGrady. But do you know the old saying, a banana without its peel is still a banana? Huh? said Arthur and Buster. It means people get embarrassed all the time, Binky explained. But you're still Arthur, said Mrs. McGrady, a smart, kind young man, with or without your pants. Arthur smiled. A few days later, Arthur met Buster at the sugar bowl. Well, no more underwear nightmares, Arthur said. That's great, said Buster. I never thought that ripping your pants in the cafeteria would be the thing to cure you. As they stood up to leave, Arthur looked at Buster and frowned. Uh, Buster, I think you forgot something. Buster woke up with a scream. Uh-oh, he sighed. Here we go again. Now who's having the dreams? So this story was not at all what I thought it was going to be about. So it wasn't Arthur that had the main issue. It was his friend Binky Barnes. He bent over, his pants ripped, his underwear was showing, everybody giggled. How embarrassing. And now Arthur just keeps having these recurring dreams about being caught in his underwear. Oh, and that's, you know, that could definitely be embarrassing. And well, the story just went on from there. And I know we all love Arthur. It's just so much fun to read his stories. He did get upset and anxious and, and scared. And he was all, all over the place with all kinds of emotions. But what ended up happening to him? He did have, end up getting a tear as well. And then we had the giggles. But you know what? It wasn't a big deal. After it happens, if something embarrassing happens to you ever, you know what? After a day or two, people forget about it. We've all had embarrassing things happen to us. And you know what? Sometimes it's a fun story to tell later on. Let me tell you, in the moment you might be embarrassed, but years down the road, a lot of times it's like, oh my goodness, you won't believe what happened to me. It was so embarrassing. And now you can laugh about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope Arthur can laugh about this sometime soon. We will see you next week for more activities, more read-alouds, more brain breaks, brain challenges, and just good old-fashioned fun. Bye-bye.